All right, welcome to the Scrap Mechanic Lab. This is our Beginner's Guide First Edition. I'm Scrappy and I'm gonna be helping you through this video, I guess, yeah. Like I said, I'm helping you through this video. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the Steam Overlay. And you find that by pressing Tab and Shift. Here you will see a, a way to set up a friends list you learn about news of the game and guys it's got a built-in browser and you'll be able to explore this on your own you click on the little arrows and you'll see that you can join other people's games who are playing and have all kinds of fun doing that you could also talk to them like in this chat box here and um, that pretty much shows you the um, the uh, social aspect of the game by pressing on an arrow here when you're in a chat box with someone you even have a built-in um, voice chat system so that's really cool to know about um, as far as the steam overlay um, scrap mechanic functions sort of as an app in their ecosystem so um so if you got the game and you're not sure what exactly you bought into you pretty much bought into the steam ecosystem so that's good for you to know about if you're not familiar with ecosystems, Apple has one, and Android, and and everybody has an ecosystem now. That's like what's in. So as long as there's lots of them and they're all competing with each other, that's cool. Uh, I think ecosystems are fine for us as consumers. The next question, which I want to go over though, is the game being able to run. Not everybody could run this game, and the only way to really know for sure if this game is going to work on your computer honestly is to buy it I'm gonna have the the minimum specs as well as the recommended specs for the game listed below but that really doesn't tell you everything um, Steam is really good about having uh, a, a, like a, a short amount of time to test it if you have less than 14 days and two hours on the game uh, you're not gonna have any problem returning it through Steam so if you've been watching the game on YouTube and seeing a lot of cool stuff and you decided you want to give it a shot but you don't know if your computer's up to spec to do it, just go ahead and buy the game. It's 20 bucks right now and test it out. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can return it. That's fine. Um, the first thing we're going to do once you've got the game now and you're ready to start it up is we're going to set up a new game. I'm actually not going to set up a new game, but I'm going to walk you through the steps. Um, creative. And the choices you have are terrain and flat and whether to make this a private or a public game. What what should determine these choices really should be your, um, your computing system. If you don't feel that you have a very powerful system and that you may be struggling, or if you tried to set up a game before and you didn't get the amount of frame rates that to make the game playable, then try switching to a flat world. If flat world but public game you have a lot of friends who are joining your game and your game is crashing a lot and you really want to get something built uh, go flat private by going flat and going private you're eliminating all those networking services by going flat you're eliminating all the extra rendering your or work your computer would have to do to generate this environment so yeah this choice is largely to me should be largely dependent upon the system that you have and whether you think your system can handle everything that scrap mechanic is trying to get it to do now what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to load a game and we're going to go through some other stuff while we're hanging out at my crib yo um we're going to talk about optimizing your computer for scrap mechanic right now i'm only running Intel HD 4600 graphics. This is integrated graphics, guys. I'm not, you know, I'm not running like discrete video or anything like that or anything fancy. It's just what came on my Intel processor. And I'm getting about uh, 60 frames up here on my house, up, up here in the sky. And um, if you're struggling with frame rates, if you've got, first of all, if you've got the game working and, um, it's just not at that playable point yet. What you want to do is audit your system. Audit your system for playability. And there's a couple of ways to do that. 
Um, the first thing, the first thing that I would do is work on reducing the resolution that this game has to render. What this does is um, it considerably reduces the workload of your computer. And um, the uh, resolutions you want to try, I'm going to list in the description below. But the real important thing with these resolution is, um, let me take a look real quick here, is, um, is to keep them constrained to the 16 by 9 uh, resolution format. Why is that so important? 16 by 9? Well, the game is created, I think, right now with the build that it has to really favor that, uh, that resolution format. So if you got some other weird shaped screen or monitor or some like humongous resolution monitor and the game is playing really slow, that may be the cause of your problem right there. So yes, resolution matters big time. Reducing the resolution of your screen can give you back frames that can make your game playable. Um, next thing I want to go over is ways to audit your game if you're still not getting the frames you want. If you're a real nitpicker like me and you want to get every frame possible out of your system, um, the next thing to do is go into your inventory by pressing I and you'll see um, all the different... Um, stuff you could use that you can drag you know to your menu bar down here and, and start working um different blocks put a different load on your system they really do um i found that these triangle blocks right here these staircase wedges they eat up like one or two frames each so as a result i don't use them i build with other blocks and and i'm still able to play the game and have a an enriching experience with the game and uh, not grind my frame rates down to nothing. So different systems will be able to utilize different things, but this is about auditing your system and, and making it playable for you. So uh, let me get out of there. And as far as auditing, um, those blocks that I was just showing you before and I here, these are when they were on, a, on an object that is mobile. The game handles objects in different ways. If you're if you're building objects that are connected to the ground, like like buildings and structures, like the one I'm on now, um, because this this is a structure that I'm in here. Oh, the doors vanished again. Another one of those bugs. Thought I had my doors, but my doors vanished. If you're in a structure, and this structure is connected to the ground, like this building is right here then uh, it's just not going to put as much of a, a strain on your system. Whereas if you have objects that are independent, like cars and airplanes and vehicles, any kinds of vehicles, they are going to, um, they're going to put more wear and tear on your system because you're going to have to deal with a lot of collision variables. And anything that can possibly run into anything else can bring your processor to a grinding halt. So being aware of the size and complexity of the stuff that you're building and whether you're going to be smashing that stuff into other things and how fast you'll be going will play a big part in how your computer handles it. So yeah. Oh look, I think someone just pressed the button there to cause me to come down. So yeah. This is all part of auditing your game for your unique computing environment. Which brings me into my next point, which is random crashing. Yes, the game is still in its early stages. The reason you're able to get it for 20 bucks is because it's in beta mode, I believe, right now. So, so we're kind of like guinea pigs here playing the game. And um, yeah, it, you may not experience ideal conditions it's not going to be the most stable game you've ever played i mean for some people things will work better for some others it won't and this is not just about system requirements it's about a lot of possible different configuration issues that you have and even the way you play the game so um be aware about what's going on big heavy things uh can cause you problems small fast things can cause you problems and Object A being built in this side of the map, while Object B is being built on the other side of the map, the first time those two objects 
come into contact, whether you're driving or racing or dropping it on someone, you might crash. And uh, that's, I think it may be a memory related issue, but that's just from my own experience from playing the game of what may cause crashes. So, so we went over crashing, we went over auditing systems, we went over resolution. The last thing is about getting the game started. Some people just can't even get the game started. If the game doesn't work, if you can't get it started, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, Steam's really good about returning the game for you. But if you absolutely must play the game... <laughs> James is smacking on my, uh, my big lift here. But um, if you absolutely must play the game, you need to go through these auditing steps that I was telling you about. Um, if the game won't start at all, you need to get into a fresh system. And what I mean by a fresh system is if you have an old computer that's been laying around, I'm going to press one here so James could come up with me. And um, you've had everyone playing on it. The kids play on it. Everyone comes and uses it. The computer's probably just loaded up with malware or adware. So the computer's going to need to be wiped clean. And after the computer's wiped clean and we install Steam and we install Scrap Mechanic there in a clean system, that's the only way we'll really know for sure if that computer can support this game in, you know, in its vanilla state, in its most vanilla, vanilla state. So, um, I understand there are a lot of people out there who are struggling because they can't even get the game to start. And, um, you're going to need to get a techie, your, your nerd uncle, or your, or your computer, extremely computer literate brother or sister to get in there and give you a hand with that. So, um, at that point, then, if the game starts, hopefully, ideally, it'll start. It'll be about uh, auditing your system, reducing your resolution to make it as playable as you want it to be. So, um, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. I hope you enjoyed riding with me on this large lift I, I constructed to help get me up to my house in the sky there. And uh, I encourage you all to express your creativity with Scrap Mechanic. Have fun with this game. Again, my name is Scrappy. And if you guys need help with stuff, um, I'm, I try to be on as often as I can. So um, have fun. And um, if you want to continue watching the video, I'll, bring, I'll take you on a brief tour of one of my creations here. And um, hopefully... Hopefully, I'll see you guys in game soon. So, here we are. Gonna jump out of my chair. And I'm gonna ride up into my house. I built my house on this giant antenna up here. And I just think the view is awesome. Whoops. Hit the button again. Oh, no. James fell off. James fell off. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to help James. I'm going to get my buddy. He's down there. Can't leave a good guy down. James. James. We're going to go run. We're going to go get an aircraft that I have built. And if you're still with me now, this is just sort of, I guess, uh, <laughs> outtakes. This is the outtakes of the video, which I have left at the end. I kind of do stuff in a... Uh, in a podcast kind of format because I mean I want the information I want the information to be out there for you guys but I'm not gonna spend hours editing sorry not gonna do it if you like the editing thing then cool but I'm just here to help you okay I had some aircrafts and whenever the game crashes it sucks away everything to the spawn point which should be over here somewhere but stuff's not here so, where did my stuff go? Oh, okay, 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 okay. It is here. You notice a slowdown in frames? Because it just dropped to three frames per second. Okay, what that tells me is there are some invisible objects here. I don't see them, but they're there. And I have just crossed into their dimensional plane. Yes. So what I'm going to do to get those objects is I'm going to restart the game. Exit. Gonna load the game now. 
And uh, if you've hung out with me this long, then hey, hopefully it will benefit you to see that. Look at that! My aircrafts just fell out of nowhere. Well, if I'm acting sarcastically unsurprised, it is because I knew that was going to happen. As far as James, poor James accidentally got booted through this process, but hey, we love James. If he loves me, he'll join again, which he just did. And I will go find him, and I'll tell him, hop on, James. I'll take you back up to my place. James, there we go. And now, off in the distance, let us go. He's asking me how the vid went. James, you may not know this, but I'm still making the video. I am still making this video, James. And you're going to be in it. You're going to be a star. And another beautiful landing. Okay, it wasn't perfect, but it was good enough. And me and James are going to go up into my place. Let's eject here. Come on, James. Let's see if this thing works here. Okay. Fantastic. It works, James. James. James, come on. We're going to have a barbecue. Come on, buddy. James, don't do it. I know it's tempting. I make it look easy when I fly. Oh. And now I'm getting a phone call. Is this, I mean, is this as loose and unplugged as it gets, guys? Okay. See? No editing, guys. This is real. Come on, James. Let's go up. I have to tell him. Uh, follow me, James. Because we're not on voice chat. Okay. Now, a little tour of the place. See, this happens sometimes. This weird clipping thing with the door. Don't know why. But, easy fix. All you do is you delete... Oh, no, no. I'm not deleting. I'm adding. Is you delete what the door got stuck in. Like that. Door pops back in. Press E. Okay. We're good. Let me put that. Because I know James is going to come running around the corner. He's going to fall down the hole. I'm going to be like, James, no! Okay. Oh, we saw him. He's coming up. I have to hurry up and plug this hole before James. Q, Q. There we go. Okay. Whew. All right. Good. Just in time. James, here we go. We got the hot tub in the sky. Can you believe it, guys? Hot tub in the sky. So nice. Uh, we've got my barbecue here. Let me make some burgers for James. I'm going to put some burgers here for James. Oh, he's already cooking them. He's already cooking them. I hope you like yours well done, James, because those are rocket-powered barbecues. Thruster-powered barbecue. And there's a drink. We get James some drinks here, and we'll chill out. And just enjoy the view. Hey, thank you all for watching. Thanks for the out. Thanks for hanging out for the outtakes. And uh, me and James, we're gonna chill. Have fun and peace out. Bye bye.